Hi, thanks for watching this video. I'm new at making videos, so please comment with any suggestions you have to improve this, and over time I hope that we can get a really smooth thing going. Help me help you. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be assembling the parts for a drawbot, which is a robot sold at marginallyclever.com, and it hangs on a wall and draws murals. In a following video, we're going to run the robot and actually see it draw a picture, so you can see how to use all the software. Now I've gone ahead and I've already assembled a few pieces here. This is a motor. This is a NEMA 17 motor. This is a bobbin with a set screw in the side. And this is a motor mount that's been attached with two M3 screws. And on the back are more holes where you'd mount this to a wall. Uh, the string goes on a little loop here. Here's the string. Uh, anything will do. I used to use, um, I used to use fishing line but regular sewing thread will be just perfect. You can make a knot that slips over this screw, goes around the bobbin, and then out through the middle hole. And there are five holes on each side so that you can run a wire from, this, from the top two holes and another one across the bottom two holes. And then when something metallic comes up and touches both, it will know that it's reached the limit and it'll stop the motor automatically. The bobbin, is 3D printed and the hole is not always perfect for fitting on the shaft. You can use a 13 64ths bit to clean out the hole. There's a flat on the shaft. You want the screw to tighten onto the flat side to hold this steady so it doesn't move unexpectedly. Unexpected movement is bad for your pictures. The way to hold this so you don't stab yourself in the finger is like I've done here. And then simply tighten the screw oh, not quite there. Tighten the screw now I've tightened the screw and that's not going anywhere. So attaching the motor mount you see here how the wire is coming out the side and not the back? This is so it doesn't interfere with the board. I want to do the same thing on the opposite side, but in a mirror image. So I've lined this up, I've already started my screws, and if these holes aren't big enough for your M3 screw, a 7 64ths bit will, go, will fit just perfect. Getting the one in the back is a little tricky, but once you get it started, the rest is pretty straightforward. I've already attached one side here to the motor shield. This is an Adafruit motor shield. We get them in here and we solder them together ourselves, so it saves you the effort. If you'd really like to get one and solder it together, solder it together yourself, by all means, just let us know and we'll drop one in. I've got another video that you can watch where we assemble it on camera. So you can see it takes about 20 minutes and it's pretty easy. Now this is an Arduino. You may have heard of these. They're the, they're the one-stop shop for all your robot, your basic robot needs. This uh, motor shield goes on top of this Arduino by matching up the pins and squeezing together like a sandwich. And then the wires go in at the ends here. It, it'll be red, green, blue, yellow. Now notice, notice this is where the power goes. The one closest starts with yellow on this side. And the one furthest away has yellow at the far end. They're reversed. This is important. So red, my screwdriver is too big and sometimes it likes to get caught. So there we go, there we go, red, green,
That's what I mean. And we skip the middle one, and then blue. How do I know how to do this? I read the manuals. I know I'm one of those people. I read the manuals. You got to do your homework, people. There's no avoiding it. Hey, here's a question for you. If you if you had to teach someone else that doing your homework is important, how would you do it? Let me know. Make a video response. I want to know because I can't figure out how to teach it to my nephew. So, now we've got the electronics. Oh, one more piece. <laughs> and there I go hitting my head on the camera. Bumping the tripod is always a great idea. Now, over here, M plus goes to red and GND or ground goes to black. And that's it. Now we're going to put some strings on these. We're going to mount these on the wall. We're going to put strings on them. We'll use the software to wind it up. And then we can start calibrating and drawing pictures.